me about this at the shop. What is the best way to store your hat? Okay, now, if you have a snap brim, let's try this. Okay, if you have a snap brim like this, a brim that snaps up and down, basically a fedora, a pork pie, anything like that, um, a Homburg even, something that doesn't snap, anything with a curve in the brim, a shape to the brim, a western hat, um, Pretty much all hats except flat hats. This will exclude boaters, boleros, things with perfectly stiff as a board flat hats. Um, I own like one hat like that, my royal blue one. But uh, for all hats, you want to keep them off the surface of the table. The weight of the hat basically just 
makes them get soft and gravity they just sort of fall a lot of that happens just from like this kind of a binding agent a stiffener that's holding it up in place and it's like stiff you know and every time you, you squeeze it or you put weight on it um, you make these little micro cracks in it and eventually it gets softer 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 it doesn't have that snappy quality when it you know like it was new that's why these hats I keep soft on purpose to show. If you have hats like this, it could be too soft. Um, there are a couple of hats that belong like that, but even like the really soft hats, like uh, my green hat, it, it should have a little stiffener. It should have a little, a little snap to it. Even a little noise. A little flop, you know. A little something. Well, almost no flop to this, but it's, it's snapping good up, down. In front, not so hot, so. That comes from leaving it down and leaving it on its brim. It does a little more damage in the front. If you notice, your front's usually softer than your back for that reason. Now, keep your brims upside down, I mean up in the air, keep your hats upside down, and flip your brim back to its up position because you're preserving this curve in the brim. I always say preserve the curve, yeah? You want that shape, or let's say it's a hat that has a nice arch like this like an Outback hat, you want that arch to keep. If it's a Western hat that has a, uh, you know, a rolled up front like this, you know, then you want those rolls to stay the way they are. Basically, if it's floating in the air like this, hanging, there's nothing touching it, you know? Okay. If this hat is really, really soft, like no leather sweatbands, super soft, it could dry a little bit bendy like this. So hanging is not always the best. Generally, when they're waterlogged, you know, travel hats are so soft, they have no uh, reeded sweatband, no leather, just a piece of ribbon here. The weight of it can make it dry funny. So it's good to know how to dry your hat upside down or store your hat upside down for wet or dry. This is its natural position. Brim snap back up, upside down. Keep the crown in its natural shape. You can open it and just pop it back. Crease, pinch, pinch, feel it. The original shape is still there. You could adjust it if it's a little bit off. Let the hat dry, or if it's already dry, not a problem. You know, hanging or upside down. I prefer upside down. You could straighten the brim out a little. If it's crooked, you can use a straight edge, you know. Put your hat upside down like this. It's great. If you have not a lot of room, you could stack them. Piles of two, three, four, whatever, even five. You got to separate them with rings, um, foam rings, cardboard rings. You can make a little belt, a couple inches wide, you know, two, three inches, I don't know. Make a belt out of cardboard and then just staple it together, tape it together, and then use that to separate your hats. So go hat, ring, hat, ring. Make it big enough to cover this, but not to get close to it and, and mess it up. So it should fit over your hat nicely. That way you go hat, the second hat is sitting on top of the cardboard ring, hat, ring, hat, ring, hat, ring. Pile them like that, upside down, like that. Okay, if you don't have rings, you could even use plastic wrap. That might work just to put a little layer in between your hats. You could even put an X layer, you know, double layer, one this way, one that way. Or just get some really wide stuff and make a square, you know, the real wide stuff. Make a square. Use that as a dust cover. That will protect this ribbon so that the hat on top of it doesn't bash it and screw it up. Um, it's another reason why you don't stack your hats because the ones underneath suffer. Uh, the top hat, not as much. Uh, upside down, stack them if you got to. Um, hanging them is also good. You can hang them on hooks or something. Just keep your brim snapped back up. Um, it gets a little dustier this way, but you can get plastic dust covers for them. I mean, I'll, I'll send you a few if you need, like, you know. You can walk in. I'll definitely give you a few, a half dozen or something. It's not a problem. Plastic dust covers or something we could usually scrape up from the basement if you ask me personally. Um, mailing them out, not sure if I could do that, but if you're walking, definitely make them yourself you could just put some plastic over it that works fine a lot of hats come with this if you buy a hat ask them for it if you're in a hat shop say give me a plastic dust cover you know 
a lot of times their hats are packed that way in the box, you know. People either throw them out or they use them in their stock room or something. So ask for one, you know. Cover it up, it won't be as dusty. But hanging it is a good way too. Um, if you have a flat brim hat, you know, like one of these new trendy flat brim deals, you know, or like a bolero or a boater, perfectly flat hat, put it flat on the table. That's okay. Hanging it is still okay. Upside down, still okay. But storing it on a ring in a hat box, not so great. Because a flat brim kind of wants to curl over that ring. So take the cardboard ring out of your JJ hat box. Just get rid of it and use your, um, your flat brim hat should just go in without the ring or just keep it like this flat on the table. Anything that's got a curve to it or a shape like 99% of your hats out there should go upside down on a ring in a hat box uh, hung up or upside down. That's basically wet or dry. The rules are more important when they're wet, less important when they're dry but they're always important. Um, if you keep your hat this way on the table or like on your chair or something like everybody seems to do, you gotta grab it in one place over, 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 over. It gets really pinched, eventually threadbare, and then a little hole, bigger hole, huge hole, and the hat's ready to be thrown out. So, invert it, you'll pick it up in various places and you won't mess up your hat in a day. You'll mess it up in a good long decade or two or something like you should. Anyway, I think I've said it all. So, take care. Uh, I guess I could play you guys out before I flip the pick. Uh, it's usually a little anniversary special.